I get asked quite a lot to help people um, zero scopes on rifles so I thought I'd actually do a video where I do a sort of simple tutorial to explain how to zero a scope for an air rifle this will also work for most red dot sights and everything like that and it'll work for proper rifle scopes as well although um, the ranges you want to do it at and everything can vary now ideally you want to rest for your rifle to remove the human error as much as possible so I normally use a bench to rest the rifle on you want your target to be in as straight a line as possible with the rifle and also the height to be as sort of close as possible as well so I've hung this little um, shirt cardboard thing on the bin and put a big red square in the middle so I can see where I'm aiming at first what you want to do is fire the rifle about three times at the target and then what we'll do is we'll see where the group went and then we can see how we need to make adjustments based on where most of the group lands because you can often get outliers with an air rifle that was the first shot, do two more aiming for the same place, middle of the red square trying to get the rifle in the same place every time on the rest Now let's see where those went. We can see that all three shots went to the right of the target. One was roughly at the right height, and one went a bit high and one went a bit low. So what we'll do is adjust the scope to the left, and maybe down slightly. With most rifle scopes what you need to do is take the caps off either side. There's normally one on the top and one on the right. The one on the top is generally to adjust height, and the one on the right is generally to adjust windage. With this particular one, I turn it left to make it go up, and I turn it right to make the pellets go down. So, we'll take a coin, and what you have to do depends on scope to scope with this one. Put it down, three clicks. We want to adjust it left by about that much to start with. This current group has placed three pellets up and to the right of the target. Horizontally they're getting closer to the target, but the height needs adjusting still. So I'm going to have to move the um, reticle down slightly and move it left slightly. We had one major outlier with this group, which seemed to go about here, but we at least had two inside the red square so I'm going to fire a couple more shots see if I can get more in the red square and if there needs to be any minor adjustment I can do it it's important to note the cleaner your air rifle barrel is and the higher quality the pellets are will reduce outliers a lot more but I haven't oiled my barrel in a while and I'm using quite cheap pellets that probably explain that we had another pellet go in the red square but another couple go off so what I'm going to do is get some better quality pellets and then test the barrel and see if we can get more in the square using a higher quality pellet. With the Bisley Magnum pellets you can see that one went to the left, one went to the middle, one went to the right. So the pellets are in the rough area we want so adjusting the scope wouldn't probably do much at this stage. However they fall a bit faster being heavier pellets. But the scope should be zeroed enough by the look of it to hold a decent group assuming all the pellets are of decent quality. Now let's actually try shooting a can to test the accuracy. You can see we have a can filled with water and we're going to try using a Bisley Magnum and try and hit it roughly in the middle. This way we should see if the scope is zero is enough to be effective. Dead centre but a bit high so now I'll try and get it a bit lower. Shot two. Thank you. 
a little to the right of where I was aiming, but not too bad. We'll try and finish it off with one last shot to the bottom middle. Final shot, I'll try and make it count. Again, slightly to the right, but roughly the right height. So I might click the scope left one or two clicks, and then that'll be fine. As I said before, the problem is you need a very cleanly oiled barrel, you know, decent quality pellets, because otherwise you'll see outliers, and you can always get outliers, regardless of how much quality control you do. But that's a simple guide on how to zero a scope. And you can spend ages fine tuning it, but in general you can zero a scope to hit a target quite quickly.